The World Wide Web is an information space where documents and other web resources are identified by uniform resource locators, interlinked by hypertext links, and can be accessed via the Internet. Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist at CERN, invented the World Wide Web, WWW, in 1989. The web was originally conceived and developed to meet the demand for automatic information sharing between scientists in universities and institutes around the world. Technically the World Wide Web hinges on three enabling protocols. The first is hypertext markup language. The second is hypertext transfer protocol and the third is uniform resource locator. The hypertext pages on the web are all written using the hypertext markup language HTML, a simple language consisting of a small number of the tags to delineate logical constructs within the text. In order to give the fast response time needed for hypertext applications, a very simple protocol known as HTTP which uses a single round trip between the client and the server is used. The final key to the World Wide Web is the URLs which allow the hypertext documents to point to other documents located anywhere on the web. This is the world's first website and server to be presented at CERN. In October 1994, Tim Berners-Lee founded the World Wide Web Consortium at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Laboratory for Computer Science in collaboration with CERN and support from DARPA and European Commission. On April 30, 1993 CERN issued a statement putting the web into the public domain, ensuring that it would remain an open standard. The organization released the source code of Berners-Lee's hypertext project, World Wide Web, into the public domain the same day. World Wide Web became free software, available to all. The move had an immediate effect on the spread of the web. By late 1993 there are over 500 known web servers and the web accounts for 1% of Internet traffic. Frustration over congestion issues in the Internet infrastructure and the high latency that results in slow browsing, freezing of web pages, and slow loading of websites has led to a pejorative name for the World Wide Web, the World Wide Wait. Happy to present in front of you all. Created using Powtoon.